Hey there, second grade. Today we are going to be doing uh, chapter 12, lesson two. Now I hope that you have continued working on your vocabulary cards because we're going to continue working on those words in this lesson, especially as we talk about sides and angles. We're starting off today on page 700. 45. Uh, so if you're not there, go ahead and turn in your book right now with me to page 745 as we start talking about sides and angles. I'm going to turn to the next page, 746. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in so we can start reading during our guided practice. It says, you can describe two-dimensional shapes by the number of sides and angles. All right, sides and angles. Well, I'm not exactly sure what those two mean. Maybe I haven't practiced that enough. So I'm going to actually pull up in my glossary real quick. Uh, and I'm going to look up, oh, perfect, side is right here. So a side is one line segment, one of the line segments that make up a shape. And so a pentagon has five sides. A line segment means there's a beginning and an end, and it's just one part of a shape, all right? So that's what side. And then I want to look up angles real quick. Uh, angle, I know we talked about that the other day, but an angle is two sides on a two-dimensional shape that... Uh, meet to form an angle. So as we're taking a look today, so the side is a line segment. So again, it has to have a beginning and an end for it to be a side. And the angle is when two of those line segments come together, there's a little bit of space. And so this is our angle is actually the distance between these two. So those are angles, all right? So today, as we start to take a look at different shapes, we're going to be classifying them by their sides and angles, which is what we started the other day. So the first one, a triangle. Well, how many sides does it have? This is an easy one for us, uh, or it should be, because we practiced this just yesterday, counting the different sides. We have one, two, three. So there are three sides. Make my... A little bit bigger. Three sides. Now I need to count my angles. Well, they already showed us there's one angle here, but these two line segments come together for an angle here and a third one here. So there's three angles uh, in a triangle. So it has three sides and three angles. A quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Let's start off figuring out sides. We've got one side, two sides, three sides, four sides. All right, we've got four sides. And now we need to figure out how many angles does it have? Well, where the two sides come together, it's going to be an angle right here, an angle right here, an angle right here, and an angle right here. So I have four angles, all right? So a quadrilateral has four sides and four angles. Huh. All right, well, let's keep this going. All right, let's keep it going. I'm going to make my pen a little bit smaller, I think, just to help us out. A pentagon, how many sides? We've got one, two, three four, and five. All right, so we've got five sides. And how many angles? Well, we've got one angle, two angles, three, four, and five. Hey, I'm starting to see a pattern here. Triangle had three sides and three angles. A quadrilateral had four sides and four angles. A pentagon had five sides and five angles. A hexagon, hmm, how many sides does a hexagon have? Well, let's count them up. We got one, two, three, four, five, and six. So there's six sides. How many angles do you think? Well, if my pattern capes up, it seems like every side has its own angle. So when we had three sides, there was three angles. When there was five sides, there was five angles. So if that keeps up, there's six sides. We should have, I hope you said it out loud, there should be six angles. Well, let's count them up and see. So here for our hexagon, we've got one, two, three, four, five, Six angles. Awesome. Six and six. So this must be our pattern. Well, the trickiest one of all of these is a circle. I told you before that a side is when we have a line segment, which means that there's a beginning and an end. But if I look at my circle, is there any beginning to the side of a circle? No. Is there any end to the circle? No. We could start anywhere and end anywhere on this. So it doesn't really have a beginning or an end. Because of that, it actually ends up having zero sides. And as we know from angles, angles are where two sides come together and meet. So if there's no sides, I hope you're figuring this out too, we've got no angles. Hmm. Well, this will be able to help us out as we continue the rest of our uh, practice here today. All right, but this is measuring our sides, which are line segments, and an angle where two line segments come together in a shape. That's how we can figure out 
our sides and angles, and a circle has no sides or angles. Well, let's go ahead and move on to number one. Number one says, trace each shape and then write how many sides and angles they have. All right. So we're going to do number one together. So go ahead. Uh, we're just going to trace. I'm going to do my best on here. Uh, again, I'm on a Chromebook, so it's a little bit trickier, but there we go. All right. I've got, I traced it. It's got four sides, right? Because we've got one, two, three, and four. All right. Now I'm going to, to put in my angle sign just to help me count. But if you remember earlier, whatever sides we have is how many angles we're also having. So my guess is that this is going to have four angles. Well, I'm going to go ahead and figure it out right now. So I've got one, two, three, and four. So it continued with our pattern. Will you go ahead and try number two on your own just real quick? I'm going to wait for just a moment. Uh, I want you to go ahead and try it out. And then I'll go over this one. So just go ahead and do number two. Trace it. And then write how many sides and how many angles. I'm going to go ahead and start tracing it. Hopefully you've already done that. And you are figuring out how many sides and how many angles we've got for this. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and count them up. So I've got one side, two sides, three sides, four sides, five, and six sides. All right. I've got my six sides. And now for my angles, I've got one, two, there it goes, three, four, five, and six. So I've got six sides, six angles is what I've got there. Hopefully you were able to figure that one out. Number three says to circle the objects that have zero sides and zero angles. Well, I'm going to jump back up to the top real quick. Zero sides and zero angles means a circle. So when I come down here, ooh, a button is a circle. So I'm going to circle that. And oh, a CD is a circle. So I'm going to circle that one. All right. So I can take a look here and say this has one, two, three, four sides because it's a door that does not have zero sides, which is why I did not circle that one. On our next page, on page 747, I want you to go ahead and work on this whole page. So four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Go ahead and do those problems. Then on the next page, uh, I want you to figure out numbers 10 and 11, just 10 and 11, all right? So go ahead, start with question four and go all the way to 11. Pause the video right now so that you can solve those problems, and then we'll go over them together in just a moment. Pause your video right here, right now, so that, that way you can solve them first.